Okay, and recording again. So, okay, replay hopefully on the uh, Ganymede map. So, yeah, yeah, it's just part of the uh, Twitch stream. Switching over to the game view now. Okay, hopefully that's right. Kind of wish I could see like some sort of an on screen indicator. Probably is a plugin for that. I don't know. I just don't know. I checked out the forums and. Well, it seems like quite a few of the plugins don't really work that well. They're, yeah, they don't actually work that well, to say the least. So, well, there you go. In either case, left versus right again. It's going to be a bit of a flatter map, as you can see. Actually, I might as well just skip the pregame chatter. Of course, I'm going to be setting up while I'm looking at the map anyway. So, there we go. Very nice uh, little background there. A few craters here and there. It's a relatively flat map, but. I'm pretty sure that vehicles cannot path through these craters, which basically means... Oh, speaking of which, I probably should have announced this on the uh, Zero K chat, um, main chat as well that I was streaming. That's what Shadow Fury likes to do, gets a few more viewers and all that. Whoops, well, I might do that afterwards if I decide to cast another uh, Zero K game, but... Uh, now well, they have it. So in any case, yeah, we'll just check out what's happening here. Left team consists of Tweaky, Jummy, Big Maverick, Lightman, myself, Manu12, and Yipach56. So you can see the different factories that they're going as by the icons. And if you don't know the icons, well, you'll find out when I zoom in on them what exactly they're spitting out. So there you go. And on the right, we got Pack, Devo. Huh. Interesting spacing of players. And uh, Patrician, uh, Reese's Pieces, and Aiden. Oh, interesting. Patrician in the middle here. So it looks like the um, right team, our opponents, are distributing them. <coughs> sorry, distributing themselves along the flanks a little bit more while we're trying to. Uh, well, we're sort of distributing ourselves more towards the bottom of the map. Seems to be bottom heavy and then middle has two and then top has one so it's going to be quite an asymmetric game in uh, all regards so hey, there we go we got the first bit of combat happening at Devo trying to do a bit of damage with his pyro and succeeding unfortunately he will die to one of our pyros just too many pyros for him to handle can't handle the heat etc etc Turkish flag. Oh yeah, there's a map called Turkish flag. It doesn't look particularly detailed. I think it is literally just a Turkish flag, which is nice and all, but you know, it's kind of nice to have map, you know, maps with terrain and such, rather than just being one flat plane. I mean, God knows this map's kind of almost there, really, but at the very least, um, yeah, you do have craters and such, so there you go. A bit of uh, air combat happening, very extreme, as you can see, Swift's coming in and... Uh, not really doing too much. Might be able to kill off one mechs actually, which would be kind of annoying. Big Maverick, what the hell is he doing actually? Why is he building that many cranes right off the bat? He's... Yeah, he is um, probably screwed. I, I think they're actually... Uh, oh no, never mind, they're, away they go. Okay, no, never mind, he actually did manage to get one swift out, the other swift's uh, getting out of there. Instead going for one of these pyros, but I'm pretty sure that before that they're actually shooting at um, what was being produced out of Big, Big Mac. Sorry, what was being produced out of Big Maverick's uh, factory there. And bam, down goes a pyro for Manu. So definitely teaching us that we need a bit, li bit a little bit of anti-air. Now getting tongue-tied and live as well, just freaking dandy. Devo taking out. Pyro by Jummy, not really sure why he sent it that far forward in the first place, could have just jumped it back. But oh well, what can you do? Mess myself, got the Rambo Commando, yep, as well as vehicles, and nope, they cannot path in these craters. In fact, they can't even seem to path in these little craters, which kind of sucks. I thought that they were vehicle pathable, but purplish bits indicate that they are not. Well, some of them sort of are, but most of them are not, though, which kind of sucks. But oh well. What can you do? Instead we got Sarisa's pieces trying to expand with a uh, Weaver. Not sure why he went with a spider on such a flat map. They're not, they're not going to get any terrain advantage here because it's all bot pathable. I mean, I suppose they'll have a... L well, actually, they won't really have a little bit of an advantage over vehicles even just because of the fact that vehicles will be so much faster than them. I mean, they can't go... 
yeah, they, they, the vehicle's so much faster than them, and they cannot go through the craters, I suppose. Well, the spiders can, but, the, uh, well, bots can go through the craters as well, so a bit of a strange factory choice. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much happening at the moment. Oh, wait a minute. Something's shooting at something. Here we go. Big Maverick trying to come in with a single Hawk and unsurprisingly getting taken out. Great air superiority being supplied by Big Maverick, as you can see. Absolutely great. Apart from that, we don't have any ground-based anti-air, apart from a couple of defenders. Oh, there we go. One crash for myself. Apart from that, though, no real ground-based anti-air at all. So this is not going to bode well for us if our opponents catch on to the fact that we don't have much in terms of anti-air. <laughs> God damn. Let's, let's just see, actually, what uh, Big Maverick is building. A whole bunch of Swifts and one Phoenix. And that's it. Interesting uh, choice there. No hawks or anything like that. Well, Big Maverick is getting a few hawks up in the air, I suppose. But, um, yeah, it's not really going to be much. Although, yeah, actually, it's not, there's not that many swifts. And if he does focus fire, I mean, these guys are dedicated air sup fighters. So they might be able to win out. I don't know. <sighs> God. If I was him, I wouldn't bother building the damn cranes though at the moment, that's for sure. Oh well, what can you do? We do have a bit of a uh, attempted assault by Jummy. Going with only pyros though, wouldn't really agree with that too much, especially against a level 3 commander. Although it is a bombardment commander actually, so if they can get close enough to him, they uh, should be able to take him out relatively quickly. Yeah, that many pyros just has to make sure that uh, he spreads them out a bit, but nope, instead he's going to go up. Maybe towards Patrician's base. Damn it, he had the perfect opportunity to take out the damn commander. I mean, yeah, actually, these are, these are just light defenses around him. He would have been able to take that out pretty freaking easily. And then go straight for the commander, and it's going to be a bit late now. I mean, the shield bots are starting to get into position. A bit of a wasted opportunity, but at the same time, Jumi is coming in to, what's his name? Uh, to Patrician's base, actually, and we'll see how that works out, actually. Thankfully, the Ravagers can't seem to hit anything. <laughs> Although, yeah, these um, Swifts are going to be problematic, and Pyros don't really do that well as anti-air. They actually don't do that badly against gunships, provided that they can get uh, close enough. But, uh, nope, that's it. They uh, don't really do much damage at all, and they donated a huge amount of metal instead. Big Maverick trying to send in a couple of air sub fighters, one Hawk at a time, it seems, or just one Hawk first. A few more coming after that, but he definitely would have benefited by sending in the Hawks all at once, strange enough, so yeah, this is just rather poor uh, unit control we're seeing here, as well as pretty poor uh, coordination, actually. Huh, indeed. Uh, team coordination, um, because what should have happened, of course, is that Big Maverick should have come in with his Hawks before the Pyros came in in order to provide uh, some air cover, but uh, instead he came in after. So he's got local air superiority, but Patrician managed to uh, retreat his air force away. Not something you see too often, actually. Uh, yeah, <laughs> being in that sort of position, but uh, well, there you go. Reese's Pieces, Crabe, also being a bit of a pain in the ass. Myself, Lightman, just indicating it. Why not? Crabe, it's being engaged piecemeal by our units, and as you can see, not working out too well. Actually, I suppose that's something that um, Thingy Majingi could make. Actually, did we have a spider player? I thought we did. Maybe that was on the opponent's team. I'm not seeing any spiders from our team at the very at, uh, the moment. Uh, well, at the very least, the opponents have got spiders, and the crab is pretty useful. Probably could have gone with something else, but oh uh, well. If we can keep the bastard alive, should be able to do quite a bit of damage with it. And speaking about doing damage, your pack coming in with his own commander, falling under quite a bit of fire. He's sending it in unsupported. What is it with people sending in commanders unsupported? I will never know. Although, at the very least, though, actually, he's morphing it as well. Well, yeah, he actually does have um, two shields around him and a decent amount of health, so... Yeah. I suppose he'll live to fight another day, especially since he is retreating. Another hand looking at the bottom. 
We have uh, Ravagers ravaging the countryside, a couple of levellers coming in to help out. Unfortunately, my Scorch is not really be able to get too close. Although the levellers are a little bit out of position, actually, so I might be able to target the Ravagers, but nope. That opportunity seems to be passing. Levellers getting right in at the middle of this uh, little Ravager line that we got going on here, little Congo line we got going. And yeah, basically just uh, moving in and blasting the crap out of, out of everything. At the very least, my Scorchers are trying, and they definitely are trying. Where are the uh, levelers? They seem to have disappeared. Interesting. Well, in any case, there we go. Scorchers coming in for myself and actually doing a decent amount of damage, bizarrely enough. Huh, interesting. And apparently something else happening here. Level 5 Yupach Commander. Oh no, I actually ordered just simply a battle commander. Yupach is a player. Of course. But, uh, well, in any case, it's still live. Shields uh, have seen better days, but still, healing up. Why not? Yupach, even building up a, uh, a forward based uh, heavy tank factory, short bot factory, all the way uh, back here. So, interesting maneuver going over heavy tanks, especially knowing that there are snipers in the the way, although, that, there we go, sharpshoot again re getting revealed presumably by the Viper drone, and uh, your pass should be trying to go after it, well these drones are at the very least, despite the fact that he's not paying attention, but nope, of course the uh, drones eventually do get targeted, and it go down subsequently, so the top is definitely in a bit of, huh, indeed, yeah, top is in a bit of um, trouble for opponents, in trouble for opponents, now the hands are the, the uh, bottom, yeah, roughly a bit of a stalemate. Unfortunately our opponents, they just keep on making these raids deep behind our enemy lines. Our lines, should I say. Well, we'd be the enemy to them, I suppose. So, deep behind our lines in either case. Uh, and they're going to be, sp be spotting the sumo coming in. Interesting unit to use on such a uh, an open map. There you go, I suppose it's chumped it a bit of damage. Well, I suppose if this if this thing can actually get to the middle of the opponent's base, then it would be absolutely gold. But it's incredibly slow, our opponents know where it is, they've spotted it, so... Yeah, there's going to be quite a few opportunities for opponents to destroy this thing before it even reaches their base. But we'll see what happens though, I'll try to keep an eye on that. At the same time though, yeah, that raid just doing quite a bit of damage, actually it's still ongoing in fact. Patrician just doesn't want to quit with the raiding, and I suppose I don't blame him. Looks to be uh, pretty damn effective actually, and let's just have a look. So we're team 1, and uh, oh, we actually do have a medal and energy advantage, funnily enough. But uh, if they keep on raiding us out like this, it's uh, going to probably turn pear-shaped sometime very soon, but we'll see what happens though. Scorch is coming in for myself. And they would have a, well, they should be able to destroy the Pyros relatively easily, sorry, relatively easily if it wasn't for these damn craters. But yeah, definitely a good job by Devo using, well I don't know if he was doing that intentionally or not, but yeah, using those uh, craters as cover, uh, very nicely done indeed. <laughs> He's got negative elo, does he? <laughs> oh god, actually can we look at that elo? Yeah we can actually, well this is the current elo for this replay. Uh, let's see, you pair, it's not negative, for God's sake, it is pretty It is pretty low though, to say the least, and we might actually get a resignation happening very soon. Our opponents are definitely not out of the match yet though. A couple of Crabes, they might be able to push back this attack relatively uh, easily, provided they can keep these Crabes alive, they need to provide proper support of course, and given how close they are to the defences and such, that seems to be the case. Also got a couple of, um, actually, I'll just zoom out, oh, ticks, okay, never mind, I thought there was something else there for a second, such as uh, scuttles, but nope, could be quite a few scuttles actually to send out, but nope, got ticks coming out instead with the good old razor, what's the, okay, and one tick detonating prematurely, <laughs> there we go, glad I caught that on camera, because I certainly was not expecting that, I don't know what, what exactly caused that, but uh, maybe, maybe he just did control D by accident, um, I'm not too sure. Unfortunately, uh, my ally on the top doesn't really take advantage of that. Could have taken out a few things before the effect wore off, but at the very least he does know that there are going to be uh, cloaked units coming in. His commander's probably still going to die though. Pro oh, no? No, he's, he's down. Interesting, I didn't think they actually had enough firepower to destroy him, but 
apparently they did. Want a Glyph coming in, that's definitely going to wreck the enemy a bit. Just needs to make sure to keep this bastard alive. And not go after... Uh, not go after the uh, Raider units. What is it going after, actually? Oh, okay, good, he's actually... Oh, your power's actually, yeah, specifically targeting the heavy stuff. Now, oh, good for him. Too bad that's the only unit he has, it really has. At the same time, Glyph, as you can see, a bit of a mini... Um, Mini Strider units essentially for the heavy tank factory. I mean, look at that, it's 12,000 health, costs a little bit more than the um, whatever that other Strider is called, the uh, Ultimatum, which I think is the uh, cheapest Strider, but a, street, a Strider nonetheless. But unfortunately, it's gonna go down. It needed support, it needed to be kept alive. That's the thing with heavy tanks in particular, you really have to send your stuff back to um, repair as much as you can because uh, yeah, heavy tanks are pretty freaking expensive and because they have so much health as well they usually can be um, easier to keep alive provided that you do remember to uh, repair them from time to time but oh well, what can you do? Geothermal for myself has been made linked up very nicely and we still do have the uh, metal advantage but our opponents are slowly but surely pushing us back on the top Position has completely crumbled for your power, his Goliath is down. We still do have an attempted resignation by enemy team, uh, or, well, yeah, by the enemy team basically. So we'll see how that goes, and it looks like it has finally gone through. So thankfully, uh, well, I dare say they weren't actually. <laughs> cute. Well, the morale was definitely not that great, but I dare say they still had a bit of a chance. I mean, they were pushing through the top. Granted, the bottom was not looking that great. Still, I think that might have been a bit premature, but oh well. It's better than the games that uh, just keep on dragging on and on and on, to say the least. So they have it. We'll switch it over to the um, main logo thingy. Here we go. And for YouTube people, I shall see you all in the next video, hopefully.